Throughout your travels in the Commonwealth, be sure to stay weary of the small village of Covenant, as it has been seen the centre of strange goings-on concerning the disappearances of many travellers and traders. But this of course can be totally false and pure rumour, and based on anecdotal evidence. Let's begin on our tour firstly by addressing the history of this location. The inhabitants of the village found evidence suggesting that before the bombs fell, that it was an exhibit constructed to support the preservation of the American lifestyle. But this of course is pure speculation. After the nuclear fire purged the Commonwealth of life, a group of settlers found its abandoned walls and saw it as an opportunity to make it into a secure place to call home. To this day, the inhabitants have made Covenant into a fine destination by maintaining its infrastructure from the outer threat of the Commonwealth, as the strong stone walls need constant maintenance to ensure their integrity. Recently, they have upgraded the walls with heavy machine guns, which plays havoc with the local wildlife, but this enables personnel to be used more efficiently as opposed to going out on patrol. It is important to note that yes, the strong stone walls do protect the people within, but it also hinders its growth as any structure built outside the walls is prone to attack. Therefore, its attempt to promote growth through attracting traders and travellers is futile unless they come up with a better plan to expand. To gain entry to the small oasis, you must complete what the settlers like to call the safe test, which is designed to identify sense, as there is a deep-seated hatred towards the Institute's creations. And let me tell you, that is a story to tell. Prior to 2287, Dr. Rosalind Chambers and several of her peers happened upon the small village, and dreamt to build it to be a safe haven for the victims of the synth menace. On arrival, she had managed to persuade the inhabitants to assist her in her goals to cleanse the Commonwealth of the synth threat. However, she does not directly inhabit Covenant, as she favoured the sanitation area in the local sewers, overlooking the village. This enabled her to build a laboratory, or as some witness accounts refer to it as a torture chamber. Here they further refined the safe test to better detect synth agents, but God only knows how many innocents have been lost due to their arrogance. They refer to this area as the compound, and the doctor has expressed her motivations to expand her operation. To understand why the settlers and the doctor began on this crusade, we must travel to Diamond City, which shares the same animosity towards the Institute's creations. It began with a broken mask incident, where a synth agent went rogue and killed a number of residents, which included Dr. Rosalind Chambers' parents, which were both shot dead by the synth Mr. Carter. This event polarised her opinions on the synth menace, and she threw herself totally into the hunting and eradication of the synth threat. This is relevant due to her being the architect of the safe test, as the incident had left her paranoid of Institute spies. On first entry to the village, you will see four houses with a small garden, which is meagre to its actual needs. You will notice that the houses are in incredible condition, which is a testament to the inhabitants' skill of preservation, with some people commenting that they look pre-war. How the hell do they hear that? I have no idea. If you fancy yourself a collector of rare weapons, you might be interested in purchasing a specialty shotgun named Justice. But be warned, it will not go cheap, as Penny Fitzgerald at the general store knows its true value and will not be taken as a fool. If you however have no interest in this specialty item, she sells a variety of goods ranging from meds to ammunition. Also the village has a doctor that will aid any paying traveller who needs medical assistance. Recently, a traveller from Bunker Hill has found an interest in Covenant, as a wealthy caravaneer's daughter has gone missing near Covenant's vicinity. Speaking with him will uncover his direct suspicion of the settlers of the village, and his belief that she was abducted. Only time will tell if the traveller will find the daughter, and it has been said that he will pay handsomely for any assistance given. The surrounding area is densely packed with urban ruins, with the major ruined town of Lexington dominating the east. Therefore tread lightly, as the road is dangerous and full of undesirables. All in all, this small settlement hasn't got a lot to offer, and many travellers and merchants advise to stay well away unless you are in dire straits. Even then you should carefully weigh out your options. Rumours circulating suggest that it may be running under new management. Tread lightly however, as everything in the Commonwealth isn't as it seems, 